Hi, my name is Manuel Garber, and I'm one of the lead investigators of the Vigor study. I know it might sound a little scary to think about collecting your own blood sample, so I thought I would go through the process myself to show you how truly easy and pain-free it is to collect a blood sample at home using the little device called Tasso. Before I get started, I want you to know that this video isn't going to be a thorough step-by-step -step instructional video. We have another video on our website that gives you these details and you can view it by going to the link shown on your screen. I followed the preparation instructions and now I'm ready to place the Tasso Plus on my arm and start collecting. Now that it is on my arm, it comes the big moment. I'm going to press the button and it will start collecting. Honestly, it did not hurt at all. It just takes a little courage to go over the mental hurdle of pressing the button. If you're having trouble with this mental hurdle, here's a helpful tip. Have a friend or a family member press the button for you while you look away. Not having to press the button for yourself is helpful for some people. Once the button has been pressed once, don't press it again, even though it might take a few moments for the blood to start collecting in the tube. Once the tube has filled, peeling off the tasso is easy. In fact, taking off a band-aid is more uncomfortable. All that's left for you to do now is to package your blood sample for shipping by following the instructions that you'll be provided with. Oh, and putting a Band-Aid on the collection side is also a good idea. That's it. I hope this short video has made you a little bit more comfortable about collecting your own blood sample for our study. Before I sign off, I want to take a moment to tell you how important your participation is in our study. The research that we are doing has never been done before, and we couldn't do it without your help. Blood samples are an important part of this because we will be able to use them to search for genetic and other clues that help us understand how vitiligo develops in people. Together, we will learn how to predict, prevent, and treat vitiligo. Thank you for working with us.